Live and welcome to yet another video about sports injuries. So if you are new here, remember to subscribe to our channel. Today we are talking about knee ligament sprains. We're going to be talking about the four ligaments in the knee and if you don't know what they are, please go watch our video about knee anatomy and then come back. So the first one we're going to be talking about is your medial collateral ligament. Alright, so I'm going to bring in my model. So guys, that is the one on the inside, it's this ligament over here, and that usually gets damaged or injured by a force from the outside. Once the knee experiences this force from the outside, it bends open on the medial collateral ligament, then yet spraining your medial ligament. You are going to get pain and tenderness on the inside. The other ligament that we're going to be talking about right now is the lateral collateral ligament. It's the one on the outside and this is usually injured by a force from the inside causing the knee to open towards the outside and thus injuring the lateral collateral ligament. Pain and tenderness you're going to experience on the outside of the knee and this doesn't usually coincide with a lot of swelling. The same with the MCL that we just spoke about. Next we've got an ACL. This you would have if you watch sports or if you've even like spoken to anyone that does sport, they would know someone that has hurt their ACL. So that's your anterior crucial ligament. This usually happens when your foot is fixated on the ground and you get rotation of the knee and that can injure your ACL. All right. Once again, that's going to be, uh, be identified with pain on the inside of the knee. Not a lot of swelling, but you are going to feel a lot of pain and discomfort. And yet again, it's going to feel like your knee wants to give in underneath you. All right. And then the last one, and this one isn't usually uh, injured as much because it's a bit thicker. And that's your posterior crucial ligament or your PCL. That gets most commonly injured if the knee is in a bent position and I'm experiencing force from the front, which is going to drive my lower leg to the back. So it doesn't happen a lot. This is the, the least common one of the four, but you can still injure it. I think we need to have a look and see what Johan has been up to because I haven't seen him today. What are you doing there, Johan? I've been watching this video on loop. It looks quite painful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, eh? Yeah. So what I suggest for that guy is to don't play games, go see a doctor immediately. Um, also, do not put any load. If you ever get a hit like that or injury like that, don't put any load on it. Try and uh, alleviate all the pressure that you put on the leg. Also, you can ice it for the next two days, definitely at least four to six, every four to six hours at least, and then elevate it above. Yeah, guys, so if you ice it and it feels better in four or five days, that doesn't mean that it is healed. You need to go see a healthcare professional because a knee sprain is quite a, a serious injury. So don't play around, don't waste time. And the biggest way to, to know that you really need to go see a healthcare professional is if when you're walking and it feels like your knee is buckling underneath you and it's giving in and you don't have control and you have pain. So please do not play around. After you've been to a healthcare professional, either you had an operational procedure or they've, they've, they've given you advice on what to do and you're at the point where you start with rehabilitation and strength, please go see a biokineticist or a physiotherapist which will then advise you with a proper strengthening program so that you can, you can rehab yourself because rehabilitation is a very, very important part in any injury, Definitely. like in a post-injury process so that you can start moving normal yeah. and that you don't end up with other biomechanical problems later on. So until then, don't leave your injury, rehab it, get it fixed in the long run. Exercise is medicine, so keep moving.